So we opened at the VH1 Music Awards in May 2005. They had to have on, then again, it's May in New York, it's freezing. I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. So Pep and Sandy haven't talked to each other in four years. This is their first reunion and performance. So they see each other back time for the first stage and go out and kill it. But who are these actresses? Because one looks like a young Vivica Fox. Or maybe a Mary J. I can't tell who's who or what's what. At least I know what movie it is. Okay, now we cut back to Queens College, a.k.a. City College, that's the set they're using. I used to live right by there. So we've got a spades game going on in the lunchroom and that's when Salt first sees Pepper. So now we got Salt's boyfriend talking about how big rappers Delight got and that's their ticket out of the hood. Oh, he wants to be a boyfriend-girlfriend duo. That would have been cool. The original Bonnie and Clyde. If you'd only known then what we know now. He said that Ashford and Simpson are rap. Child, so they get in the booth and cut this corny track. She looks more like Tammy Roman to me. He feels like his voice doesn't sound right. He said we need a female MC on the track. Why does Saul already look 40? And then what's with this, like, odd makeup? Oh, God, so kid and player working at this call center, too? Oh, God, Martin Lawrence? Okay, this is too much. This is like a Saturday Night Live skit. Oh, okay, and then in comes her Herbie. A conference calls in from Kid and Play telling her, don't believe what Sandy said. And she said, all right, let me give you a beat. And then Cheryl and the boyfriend both look at her because she go, So it seems like Cheryl was more straight-laced and Sandy was the wild child talking about going to see strippers. A candy burst tea. Oh, child, we at this 90s strip show. Quiet as a skip is giving me a pose tea. Oh my God, the gay white guy in the back of him. He's just like, yeah. Ah! Oh my God. Now that was a moment. They said, let's get the most Amistad lookalike we could find. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. Child Sandy on stage, he humping all on her. Oh my goodness, I thought Peppa was salt and salt was Peppa the whole time. Really? It's this bad. So they coming back from the strip club, getting to know each other, and they pull up to some other young guys. And she's like, I know they don't want to race. It's raining. Salt's like, no, Peppa. So now we're at the first recording session with Salt, Pep, and the boyfriend as the producer. I don't know why you can't just play the beat and not take, get a rehearsal track. Okay, so now we got Martin performing. <laughs> Young Martin. Oh, uh, who is this and why? I really could have just done with Salt and Pepper. So the song ain't going that well, but they making an extra $2 an hour, and now they can put that towards their fledgling music career. So the record's done and Ben set out. Okay, so now they are on the radio hearing their song for the first time, Dancing in the Street. Peppa looks more like Blanca from Pose than anybody. These wigs. So the girls go to Dougie Fresh's high school in Harlem. Girl, and they killed it on the court. So at Salt's house, the sister's like, girl, everybody at my school know you, you famous. Oh, Lord, Herbie done gone out and gotten some sparkle. Who, what can I do? Shoop, shoop. With this feeling, hooked on your love, sweet love, yeah. Dresses. Girl, ain't nobody wearing that on stage. Oh, they wore those stupid dresses. Martin, of course, is performing before them. And now they're like, I gotta pee. In them stupid outfits. I have to boo that puce. I'd have to boo that pattern. Oh, okay, so they had a deal. Whoever makes it out first helps out the other one. Oh, okay, that's cool. Even in them shitty little outfits, that song was shining. They're booked for two more shows that weekend for $200 a pop, but they just got a $2 raise at Sears. Uh oh, but somebody's jealous of the boyfriend's success and walks up to him with a taser. Oh, it was a camera. 
So now they're at this every rapper is there party in Danceteria. Salt sounds real hoarse, but she's trying to meet one of the fat boys. The boyfriend said, why Peppa always moving around cheap like a groupie? So Peppa and her boyfriend go to the record guy and they get a deal for like 5000 for a good single and 9000 for a good LP. Oh, so the boyfriend didn't invite Sandy because she going to try to get her cut and he wants to pay her way less. Not her full third and soon to be her ha. She says, look, it wouldn't feel right taking more than her. He's like, well, hey, you want to give her half? Give her half. That's your half. So Salt comes to tell Pepper they got a deal. Uh-oh. So Salt and Pepper shows up to the opera house and the bouncer's like, uh, the group's been here an hour ago. Ooh, that's funny. Oh, it's, um, Cheddar. That guy that I thought had the taser. Oh, he got some girls that look like them to copy their act. So the boyfriend's like, I'm going to slip in the back of the club and see what's going on. And he sure do got fake salt and peppers out there. So the manager snuck on stage with the cut the music, cut the music. You have been had, y'all. Child, the boyfriend starts running. Uh-oh, they was chasing the boyfriend. Now it looks like they're going to beat him up in the back. Oh, no. Pep runs to the rescue and she gets knocked out too. So now they've got their new DJ, Joyce, who's going to be Spinderella or Latoya. Okay, now we're in Brooklyn and we're making Push It. Now we got the choreography and shimmy and shake and shimmy and shake. So Salt forgets her jacket and sees her man flirting with Spinderella. See, now we understand and they always had issues with splitting stuff and Spinderella was always the issue. Uh-oh, Sandy getting her hair messed up. That perma burn. Oh, so this is how <laughs> Pep ended up with the, the high glam, <laughs> the punk glam look <laughs> with that shaved side. <laughs> oh, so this is how it all started with the perm burn. And I'm sorry, but she's still giving me Blanca. So at rehearsal, the girls are getting sick of Spinderella getting the preferential treatment. Child, they fired her late butt. And so this is when they meet D at 14, the next Spinderella. I know I just didn't see a cruise advertisement. I know good and damn well, I did not just see a Royal Caribbean commercial. So now we see their neon looks and, and Push It is a smash. So now we see they at a hotel, I think in Vegas, and Salt's like, uh, Underage Spinderella, you ain't going nowhere, and Pep wants them to go out. Ooh. So now Pep sees Salt's boyfriend cheating. So he tell Pep, you say anything, you're out the group. So some Jennifer Williams heifer calls while Pep's in the booth, and the boyfriend's mixing, and Salt answers the phone, and the girl says, girl, you might want to change those sheets in the basement, or don't. It's up to you. She was giving that teasing, I got your man. She walks out and sees the bed disheveled, and she just come back and sits next to him and says, wrong number. So Salt's looking at Pepper like, yeah, he cheating. But now we've got the montage of hits. Oh, so now a manager approaches Pepper and asks how many album points you get, and she said six. And he said, y'all could do better than six each. And she said, wait, what do you mean each? Each? Child, Herbie been getting six points all this time, and them girls been splitting the other six. Damn, it couldn't have been like everybody gets fault. So since Herb left, the other studio guys are like, uh, Salt, you better get in this booth. Oh, so the guy that Herbie hired his brother or cousin is leaving. He tells her, you've got to start writing and figure out what you want to say. So the song Express Yourself, which Salt wrote, is the new single. So the girls find a venue and say, we gonna make our own money off us and throw parties every Tuesday. Well, now Pep has made a love connection with that Jamaican guy from the restaurant, and Pep is pregnant. So she tell her man she pregnant, and then he looks constipated. So Salt and Pepper go while Pep is fully pregnant to renegotiate their contract. So they got their renegotiation and their big house. So now Salt sees the baby that her boyfriend and had on her. So Salt breaks up with them. She says, look, we can still work together, but I'm done. So right as Saul is having a breakdown, new life comes from Pep. 
So we got a good pregnancy moment where she about to have the baby and she's like, I finally left him, but I know how to do it now. We can do this together. I don't know why everybody's so mad at this movie. I've really been enjoying it. I mean, they don't look anything like Salt and Peppa, but you know, I, I get it. Oh, so Salt starts dating the guy that uh, she went on that one date with after Herbie. And then we had the Magic Johnson HIV scare. So everybody started talking about sex and safe sex and all that. And that's when we got Let's Talk About Sex. So Peppa's at a function and her son wanders off and Tretch from Naughty by Nature picks him up. Oh Lord, so we got the ex at this party too. Girl, so on their first date, they go bungee jumping together. Oh my God. And then they fall into bed. Oh Lord. So in an interview for Let's Talk About Sex, the producer says, oh, Salt, you're expecting as well. You with Herbie? I heard you was with Herbie. <laughs> and Herbie there just looking at the real pappy. Oh goodness. So now the real pappy piss. She should have said something though. You just threw him up under the womb. Okay, now Saul having her baby, but Pep ain't there. So Herbie's going to force them to do the, it's none of your business. I'm sad. I wish they had done that earlier because that was a bop. Because it is none of your business. And even if you are mothers, like, how do you think the kids got there? Come on, how did the kids get here? Because you was freaking on the weekend and it's still none of our business. But you know, the kids be telling on you because we're like, you at least got, it took. So now we at a party at Pep and Tretch is getting real drunk looking like he about to act ignorant. So Pep calls Salt with the idea for shoot, shoot, bet. Oh Lord, yep, Tretch acting a fool. So the next day in the studio, he's saying he been through a lot and he apologizing. So Salt's beginning to get sick of the life, but Pep is enjoying it. So now we've got it's none of your business playing. Oh no. And Peppa's high in Jamaican family don't approve. Child, now we got Tretch yelling at Pep. If it was your movie premiere, we would have been gone. You wouldn't wear a skirt. Let's go. So now the girls go to court with Herbie because they're ready to produce on their own. Salt shows up at a Pep party and she mad she wasn't invited. But girl, you don't like a Pep party. Okay, so now this is when the girls start sniping at each other. Pep wants to party, Salt wants to work, and she's like, you don't even know these people. They won't be around long. Oh, child, these wiggy, wiggy, wiggies. You can see it. It's acrylic. Wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. You don't want to touch it. It's itchy. Wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. But you know it's there. Pretending that it's her hair. Ba, 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 ba. It doesn't move. Wouldn't shake if it was on a party line. It's not bouncing, behaving. Quite strange then. That wig has got a shitty bang slide. Ba, 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 ba. Lord Tretch come up giving a Bobby Brown tea. Cracky boo. Now Salt's having her breakdown. So this is when the movie gets shitty. Okay, so something happened with the indie label and now they got a tour. So now they arguing about money because Pep done gone broke because she had that big mansion. Oh, and Salt did it because she was pregnant. So she needed the coin too. So they go on and do this sad little tour. So Pep marries Tretch. Then Salt falls on her belly during a performance. Oh, and she keeps performing? Uh-oh, something going wrong. So everything's fine with the baby, but the doctor tell her you got to stop touring. Oh, is this Kane? Is this Kane from Power? This is Kane from Power. I can't. I'd recognize that baby mustache anywhere. <laughs> you better get your coin, sir. But uh, I'm gonna need you to, to be somebody else. Like you didn't you didn't done this, you know, ghetto rough guy role to death. You can you can be somebody else. Shave that mustache off. Smile. Would be interesting. So now Tretch is abusing Pep. Um, we could have ended it. A while ago, do I want to stop now? I almost want to stop now. Because we really could have ended this, like, at the crappy tour. Like, at the crappy tour, it's just like, okay, let's just get everything done. But this wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Like, I didn't know a lot about the early stuff, so I thought that was cute. But they did not look like salt and pepper at all. So Salt says, look, Pep, I don't want to do this anymore. 
Child Pep says you a quitter just like my paps and tretch. I see why Spinderella wasn't in it as much because it was really about their relationship with each other. I feel like if they had put Spin in it, then she would have had to have her hour too. Pep out here trying to get jobs without salt and the management's like, uh-uh, you're a package deal. Oh goodness, now we've got Peppa's mental breakdown. You know what, I'm good. There's 10 more minutes, but we, we really don't need it. We know what happens. Ooh, if they really, if they fucked it up. It was such a good feel good movie for like an hour and a half. They could have just cut it, but ooh, God, I see why you're so angry now. I see, it's like getting to the end of a cake and finding a shit nugget in it. Ugh. It's like somebody pissed in a good bowl of Cheerios and you're about to really, and, it, and it's piss. Ooh, now I get it. Y'all were like, just keep living, just keep living.